Hi, I'm Paul Harris with Aurora Multimedia, and at this Infocom we are introducing the brand new VLX series, which we're demonstrating on the screens right now. The beautiful thing about it is we have only one gig network with only one and a half frame of latency with only an eight to one compression. And as you can see by this demonstration, we are showing an original source compared to the VLX, compared to our IPX, which is a 10 gig zero compression, zero latency solution. And as you can see, you could barely tell any difference whatsoever between each of the images. Now, one of the things that makes our products very unique with our IP based T technology is the fact that our products are transceivers. So that means that one unit can actually be set up as an encoder or as a decoder. We also can do USB 2.0, PoE for simplicity of power supplies and making it a very clean installation. We have two HDMI inputs you could switch from. So when it's an encoder, we can use the output as a loop out and to stream it to the far side. And when it's a decoder, we can actually use the two inputs as local sources or to the far end. We also have audio embedding and de-embedding, which can be done on either side. And we also have the ability to control 232 as well as IR. The unit also, in addition to that, can do video wall modes of an 8x8 as well as image rotation in addition to that. Having the ability to do transceiver also limits the skew. So let's say, for example, if you have a matrix that's 16 by 32, you don't have the stock disproportion of having 16 transmitters versus 32 receivers. You just simply need 48 boxes and you configure it as you need it makes it very easy for support, makes it very easy for stock imbalances and things of that nature. Very, very advantageous for that. To make it very viable for conference rooms, because it only has one and a half frame of latency, that makes it viable for use in any conference room, digital signage, or anything where it's barely real time, because of the fact that it's no worse than a regular scaler. So we also made the world's first wall plates. We offer two types in both black and white, one with VGA and HDMI, and it has the HDMI out. So everything I just discussed with the box is in a wall plate two gang form, PoE on the back as well, and we make one with two HDMIs with an HDMI out. So we're the world's first transceiver wall plates. Another great addition is we're the only company with video to integrate Dante as an option into these. So we do offer a Dante option so we could submix things into the system as well. And this is the VLX series by Aurora. Now, moving on, we have the IPX, which is our 10 gig system. So with the IPX, we offer this one in copper and fiber in 10 gig. So this is the, this is the copper version. For the fiber version, we have uh, the ability to do SFP plus modules on it. Uh, that means we can do single mode, multi-mode, by dies or duplex, not a problem. As with the VLX, we have two inputs and an output. We have 232 and IR control. We have audio embedding and de-embedding. And we also have full one gigabit pipeline. So for every box you add onto the network, you get another one gig drop point. So it could become the one gig infrastructure within the facility. It does have video wall modes and it can do a seamless switch between same resolutions as well. Uh, it is a zero compression, zero latency. Some people like to ask, well, it's gotta have some type of latency. We're only talking 100 microseconds. So it is subframe latency uh, in the end of the day. Uh, we have different rack mount versions for it for doing a, a one RU or a 5RU bladed transceiver concept just like the other one. We also have the ability to do full breakaway with the IPX series. So the video, the audio, the control, the USB, everything could break away. We use this a lot for command and control, broadcast, government work, just about anything you need, zero compression, zero latency with KVM functionalities. Whatever it is, it could do it full data, 480 megabit per second, USB 2.0 throughput on this product. Now, at towards the end of this year, although you'd have to look up here right now because uh, we don't have it with us, but we're coming out with the IPX TC2 model, which will do full 4K, 444, 60 hertz with only a 1.3 to 1 compression ratio. You cannot even tell any difference whatsoever, and it's only 100 microsecond latency. It'll also do full 4K scaling, and it will do windowing as well, so you'll be able to window images with that. Now, if that wasn't enough, for the TC1 series, we do offer the world's first wall plate in both fiber and copper versions. Three gang style typology, where all the features that I said in here are in wall plate form as well. So we support it with uh, both that as well as the Dante options for that. So, with that being said, this is the IPX and the VLX series. This is part of our IP-based T solutions. 
And this is the uh, IP offerings from Aurora Multimedia. And thank you for your time.